Welcome back to Marco's Magic Football and the Nurse Sewer level! Yay! <laughs> well, look at the bright side, Teo. This, uh, th surprisingly, this game still has better storytelling than Code Geass. I suppose. Uh... Yeah, basically, we just got off an episode of Code Geese. Goose. And, uh, Geese, the Goose. The, the Code of Ladouche. Yeah, the Code of Ladouche. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, let's. Once again, we're keeping up uh, trying to get some more stars. Why not? Sure. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, All right. oh yeah, we also have sludge fish that come out of the the sludge. Don't go into the sludge because you'll it's an instant death. Instead, you, how, however, the ball is indestructible, so you can just let, drop the ball in it and then use it as a trampoline to catch that extra life that I'm about that I'm about to get. All right. Ooh, cool. Get you have to time thing up. No, you just have to jump All on right. it. There All you right. go. And now, explosion! Okay. Alright. That's a screen nuke, pretty much. So also, another question. Um, how does the... Uh, how does the ball bounces? Uh, in, I mean, what music does it use? Like, it bounces automatically when it hits an enemy? Uh, uh, yes. To the next one? Yes, as you're seeing right now, actually. Yes, the ball right. bounces all around. The physics are actually very well done. The the ball bounces all around in a very believable fashion, especially for a cartoony game. Do, 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 do. Star. All right. Oh, there's another Godzilla in here. <laughs> Ew. All right. There you go, uh, <laughs> kicking the football in your ass. <laughs> All right, those uh, that sludge you see right there on the wall. That means it's you can't go by for that. It's kind of it's basically a wall, so don't okay. try to, don't bother going for there. It's just a wall. All right, let's see. One of the one of the key things about to do it when you're in a tight level like this is uh, keep keep doing what I'm doing, which is um, keep kicking the ball and pressing B over and over, which will bring the ball back to you, so you can kick it again. That way, in, enemies will not be able to su to surprise you just in case they're they're in there. Like, Alright. There you go. Okay, now, um... More kicking. Alright. Could, could you imagine, Dwiz, if this game was made today, they'd probably make this this game, uh, the main character... They'd probably make the main character a cartoon version of either Ronaldo or Messi. <laughs> yeah, um, for, for a second I thought you were going to say the football's going to be the main character. <laughs> I'll be something. A, a a game like this where the main character is an inanimate object. <laughs> well, there have been countless ones. Like, especially, um, what's the name? Uh, licensed games on uh, uh, product placement like Cool Spot. Uh, <laughs> where you literally control a bottle cap with glass sunglasses. There we go. Okay. Basically, I'm trying to put the ball in a good position to jump. There Without getting hurt by the monsters. Because don't, don't forget, if I fall into the sludge, it's instant death, so... Alright. What? And you pause. Yes, I'll pause just because uh, I need to deal with something. Don't worry, sorry about that. Oh wait, no, actually, actually now that I think about it... Hold on, let me... Did I... Uh... Oh, never mind, this isn't... I think this was probably one of those sec sections where I was supposed to edit it out, edit. but I, but I but I I, I missed I, I probably missed it when I was checking it out in the preview. Yeah, don't worry. I do that all the time. Well, to be fair, Dwebs, um, at least it was at least my mistakes only last like uh, like a few seconds. You you've had moments where you where you've had like long ten minute. Uh... There we go. All right. Anyway, so level is over. Super Yay. can bonus. More like super can't bonus. Ha ha ha. Level six. Level the sewers six. again. Why the destroy all sludge cans? Don't worry. This is the last sewer level. All right. Okay. 
So yeah, like uh, like the 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 level select uh, or world map, if you will, said. Uh, you ha in order to activate the um, the exit machine, we had to destroy a total of twelve sludge cans. They're inc oh, they're, inc but... they're incredibly easy to find. They're always on. They're on. They're incredible on your way. It's like, this the level is is not really all that um, you know wide in terms of exploration. So don't worry, you'll find you won't have any problem finding all of them. It's also good when you have a counter on your uh, icon, uh, yeah. on your icons, uh, so you yeah. can keep track on what how much you're missing. Yeah, any levels that require me to destroy sludge cans do not have cans, so the can basically are replaced with, um, yeah. All right. All right. So <laughs> basically, that that other, basically those small little uh, sludge monsters you see on the ground, they can either um, throw a little. Uh, sludge bomb thingy, or they can turn into dynamite and explode. Basically, a, a, a sludge explosion that I, that can knock me back. Oh yeah, and that and that fire is coming out of the wall for some reason. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh, Pedro. Yes. Can we just do another part of this game after we're done with this one? Because I'm I can only take one Code Geass episode a day. Okay, fine. <laughs> but you know, uh, but you know, Dwebs, you cannot keep trying to run away from that anime forever, otherwise we'll never finish it. <laughs> yeah. Only one a day. Besides, we've got plenty of time this week to uh, to do that, aside from tomorrow. Sure. Okay. Tomorrow, then. <laughs> I guess I'll try again I said, tomorrow. I said, I, said, I said aside from tomorrow. Tomorrow's, I know, I know, uh, I know, I know. I know. Uh, tomorrow never dies. Oh! <laughs> Uh, oh god, uh, so I like the song Tomorrow Never Dies, but I'm sorry, the show of Crow song sucks. Alright. Oh, never mind, it does have cans, it's just that they don't count for anything. Yeah. So, I guess this game is canon. Ha 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 ha. Not that, as powerful, we go to the corner. Yeah, that was terrible. You, you go to the back of the class. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, so... left. So, after, so basically, guys, uh, my bomb was so bad it killed. I, I, really, uh, I, I love how Marco is. Now we're talking about this game from the afterlife. Yeah, uh, I love how Marco looks incredibly terrified while he's climbing something. Yeah, while he's climbing the rope, uh, the expression he has. Yeah, help me, mommy. Again, he's uh, just a kid with a magic ball fighting sludge monster from an evil toy corporation. Yes, an evil toy corporation that for some reason decided to turn everybody into sludge monsters. How the hell does that achieve world domination? I, I'm i still yet to figure that out. Who are you to judge? Who am I to judge? A guy who actually sat through the clone saga. Oops. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is even dumber than kidnapping everybody and turning everybody and replacing them with clones. And believe it or not, Dwebs, yes, that's the plan of the Clone Saga in Spider-Man. Yeah. The villain's plan yeah, is literally to kill... That's, the, the, that's the simple version, because the, the standard version will be long, complicated, and really, really stupid. Oh, the, animated, the animated 90s Spider-Man cartoon did that joke where they mocked that plot. They did, yeah. yeah. And I love them all so much well, for remember, it. Well, remember, the Clone Saga is regarded as one of the most uh, convoluted and really bad Spider-Man stories ever made. Let's just say that you will never... Let's just, let's just say that you will never see a Marvel Studios film based on the Clone Saga. Because, yeah, uh, because, okay. uh, because Marvel knows that... Well, uh, that I don't know, Pedro. They make managed a to make War, a good dude. movie based on Civil War. Mm, I don't know, too. I don't think even they can save that, that saga, honestly. <laughs> oh, that. Um, the, never mind, I'll explain later. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, no, to, so, so actually, to, I'm, I guess, I guess everything's possible, but I don't believe even they can save the Clone Saga. Ah, Ow. All right, oh, let's... there's falling damage. No, actually, there's not falling damage. I just uh, died by touching that sludge. It's just that uh, I happened to fall where there was no floor, so I the fall was long. There's no fall damage in this game. I got the tall building. Mm. My car is my witness! He has broken in half! Kitty! You killed the kitty, you bastard. Alright, only one left. 
Oh, okay. This guy, basically, when this guy happens, I don't get what this guy That's is. Star Trek key. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, Captain Kirk shows up, and uh, if we beat him with a ball, he drops a lot of cans. Uh, uh, sure. Are those the health drinks he takes to try and make him keep himself young? Maybe. And then it's, it's, it's funny we say it's funny we saw that because I actually saw Star Trek Beyond today. Mm -hmm. How was it? I liked it. Basically, it's like an original series episode, albeit with, well, much better production values and acting. Hopefully, right. ho hopefully the um, the Trekkies will uh, be more uh, forgiving with this one, then. Alright. Next. Alright, we're done with the sewers, thankfully. Yay! And now, level 7, the industrial zone. It's, once again, we have to... Which contains sewers. Well, actually, no, we just have to find sludge cans, but there are no sewers in it. There you go. Oh, so now you're in a militarized ghetto. No, 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 actually, this is just buildings on, in construction. <laughs> I guess by industrial, they mean buildings under construction. I don't... whatever. Well, they look, they look more in ruin than anything. I love the music, though. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, and this guy shows up, and he's carrying a flamethrower. And a they flamethrower, yeah, flamethrower. I guess he wants to. I, I guess these are. All, I guess you can assume that these are all guys that were paid by Colonel Brown to kill Marco. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> it touched the football and it died. Yeah. Yes. That's like that's another cool thing. Like if you're on on the top, on the. Um, if you're just on on the, on a ledge, you can uh, make the ball show up in your feet and then have it fall downwards to some enemy that might be down on you. Like uh, if you know if you if you make really good use of the the football mechanic, uh, you can do a lot of uh, you can kill enemies very well if you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, and now we have this uh, tiny m m orchestra musicians who damage you uh. for some reason. Uh, let's uh, let's just say the, that let's just say good old Domark was smoking a lot of weed when this level was made. You know, I'll be funny. Yeah, go if ahead. If when you is, when you killed the or when you killed someone in the orchestra, the instrument that they're playing actually represents a bit of the music in this game, and that track stops playing, so you just hear you don't hear drums and you don't hear trumpets and you don't hear anything. That would be really creative, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think the Mega Drive is um, doesn't have. I don't think the Mega Drive sound chip has the potential to do some a, a sound effect that complicated. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going then. So yeah, like like we like uh, much like the other, we have to find all the sludge cans. This one can be a little harder because this level is definitely, pro if if not the forest, mm, definitely one definitely one of the biggest in the game though because uh, there's like a a good amount of four huge buildings, each of them with various windows that serve as platforms, and there's of course stuff on the and on the top of the buildings as I'm showing right now. There's a sludge can there. Um, basically, I'm trying to use my uh, headers to. Um, there you go, Dwebs. I just killed a, m a murdering guy with a sludge. Uh, sorry, with a fun for just by using a, a, a header. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, and uh, hang on, let me, let me. Never mind. Uh, go on. Uh, ow. Oh, and this guy throws bricks at me. Why? I guess he doesn't like anyone. Uh, Getting in with his job or something. Also, <laughs> also, don't touch that board. That board that shines from both sides that hurts you for some reason. I don't get. I guess okay. it's. I, I guess it has nails, and nails are sharp. Uh, whatever. Probably. Maybe. All right. Let's keep going. We. Come on. You can, the interesting thing is that um, it's not just a matter of trampoline. Like uh, whenever Marco runs, of course, in typical platform fashion, he also jumps um, longer and higher. And uh, as you can see, his his running jumps cover a lot of height. So yeah. So it's actually very easy to climb these buildings with just run by just running and jumping. There you go. See, no, that, that... even even the ball dies at these things. Yeah, probably nails. 
But yeah, basically, I, I guess it's a matter of... Uh, it also allows the levels to be built more vertically than just horizontally. Yeah. Well, to be fair... Very interesting for a platformer. Well, to be fair, I mean, aside from the suburbia levels, um, most levels have been vertical, actually. I mean, the sewer levels were all vertical. No, no, yeah, you know, I was just pointing this, uh, because mm. due to how the gameplay mechanic works, it allows uh, a more, uh, more playability on the Y X, I think it's called. There you go. Killed the ma. I, I, that, there you go, dudes. I killed a ma a game where I killed a mouse with a bicycle kick. Never thought you'd see that, huh? <laughs> and there we go. All right, only five left. There we go. We need to tell. Um, we need to. Hey, hey, hey Dwebs, you have to tell. Um, you have to send a letter to Chelsea asking for um, Abramovich to hire Marco. Yeah. <laughs> Get them on Chelsea's uh, school so that they can train him to eventually join the the roster at age eighteen or sixteen, rather, because since sixteen is the minimum age. All right. Or is it fifteen? Hmm. Uh, but, but I think it's either 15 or 16. That's the minimum age for you to become a pro an official professional football player. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Like, e and even... Th what the hell? Um, mm. The, um, you know, the, the ball the ball exploding. Oh, the power. bomb. But yeah, sorry. But yeah, basically, I think you have... Even then, you have to... Wow, I just shut down uh, a sludge can. I... <laughs> yeah. And I shut even down exploded. a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a Are family you, oh, game! This, this, this kid's becoming more screwed up than Tintin. Uh, well, actually, Dwebs, no. I'm gonna have to say no, because uh, Marco still hasn't m literally made a rhinoceros explode from the inside. So let's give yeah. Marco some cre <laughs> So let's give Marco some credit here. Not to mention the people uh, we're hitting are all evil anyway, so it, it, it we're going on King's Quest logic. It's okay to kill people as long as they're evil. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't tell. Uh, 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 don't, Marco, don't. There you go. Oh. As you can see, there's no oh. fall damage. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Alright. Da, 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 da. And there we go. This one actually, oh. in this one actually, we don't have, um, we can't really climb this particular building with just uh, running and jump, so you really have to use the boss trampoline ability. Now, using more headers right. to take care of that guy. The, the problem is that this guy actually takes quite a bit of hits. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Uh, I'll show this again. Okay, while um, while this is going on, uh, I've, so I'm I'm definitely doing the Telltale Batman game. Awesome. All right. Which reminds me, uh, the that Batfleck movie was finally properly confirmed. Uh, but Affleck is writing and directing it, right? I think he is. Yes. Uh, Thank um, you. Then that one actually does have the uh, chance of being as awesome as um, as uh, Warner Bros. wants them us to think their movies are. Alright. Oh, well, this is still better than Sony. Oh, yeah. What Ben Affleck? I mean, you think with Batman v Superman, just as he thought he was going to escape all the memes that came out because of his performance in Daredevil, bam, here come more bad memes. Yeah, that, that, that's the sad part. Uh, yeah. As the guys from the Honest Trailers um, said, uh, the guy we thought was going to be the worst thing about the movie was the best thing about the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, not, I, get, I've, not get me wrong, I love Ben I Affleck as a director, it's just... Uh, I was really... Oh yeah, no, the bat... The, the the look of Ben Affleck's Batman is the best look we've had or had in a live-action Batman, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it, it's just... It, it's, was, even, even as recently as Gone Girl, I didn't think he was a good actor. Uh, I, I guess he works best when he's uh, playing, like, a, a gruff uh, character, rather than... Whatever the hell kind of character he was supposed to have. Uh, anyway, Pedro, I was saying that I actually don't like this Batman's costume. Uh, 
I don't know, I don't there's know. something about it that doesn't feel right. Uh, uh, to maybe me, it's I, the, I, it's, Maybe it's the cape contrast with the rest of the costume, I don't know. I don't know, I, I actually, it's, it looks exactly like, uh, you know, modern comic books Batman, honestly. No, I know, but uh, here's the thing, one of the um, uh, things about Batman costume is that, uh, yeah, so it, it was all, originally it was made just of uh, cloth, uh, like, um, what's that, satin? cotton siding whatever microfiber whatever it's it was called but more modern iteration added some kind of uh, plates uh, or something but this batman's costume one doesn't seem to have any of them well the thing I is um well, again don't, don't don't get me wrong i'm not one of the 90s kids that wants everyone to have shoulder pads or something <laughs> but i, I mean something more si more balanced something similar to the arkham asylum games my guess is the logic they're going for is, um, you know, since they're trying to make this, uh, the, the, since they're trying to build a DC universe on this, uh, on a more gritty and realistic um, direction than the Marvel movies are going, uh, you know, uh, they want the Batman outfit to reflect more like what 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 kind of outfit would Batman have if Batman actually existed? You know, because uh, they can't go for a full out, uh, you know, Batman like. Well, the, the Nolan movies managed to do that. Kind well, of. well, yeah, the, well, the, the Nolan, mo the, yeah, the, the Nolan outfit uh, it was exactly the kind of outfit we needed for the sake of protecting Batman's body from because because let's face it, when you actually uh, apply realistic logic to comic books, uh, especially, yeah, not, not, Batman not so, is uh, dead. Yeah, like, but yeah, Batman, <laughs> Batman should be dead by the by this point. But, uh, but 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 uh, since Nolan was trying to go for a more um, believable thing, they okay. But let's make the bat suit look up, look still has the same basic uh, look, but let's make it a bit more hard. You know, it's more instead of it's more plates than actual clothes, just for the sake of Batman actually being able to take bullets and without dying, and you know because and actually be able to beat criminals without breaking his bones. Because any human yeah. being would break his bones on a daily basis if he lived this kind of life. So. Yeah. Um, so it, ma it makes sense for the kind of tone Nolan was going for with those movies. Whereas with Zack Snyder, uh, he's trying to basically be keep the realistic thing, but at the same time try to be a, try to a, a, a little more comic book uh, imagery into it, into it. Going, basically going for a balance. And I thought he did a great uh, job with the outfit, honestly. I think that actually is my favorite uh, bad outfit in live action, honestly. I, I understand your points, but honestly, I think that... Uh, we're never going to get a full blown. Uh, like, we're not. Going, we're never going to get a perfect bat suit in, in live action anyway. Because yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the yeah, bat suit when the bat, when when Bob Wayne created Batman, he he created the outfit thinking in a comic book to the perspective. Uh, yeah. the, the, the the outfit was not created with live action in mind. And using and using golden age logic. Yeah. So obviously, no matter what you do, you're never going to be able to. Unless you completely change the outfit to something completely different, which they would never do because uh, the fans you know, would murder. Like Asriel. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you don't want to know this. Basically, it's a uh, '90s. Uh, it's one of the mistakes made in the '90s. For a while, it was a guy who replaced Batman, and let's just say it was a real mistake from DC. You don't want to know more. Oh, uh, speaking of um, speaking of Ben Affleck, um. I, I kept forgetting he's got a new movie coming out next year. Which one? Uh, it's based off a book called Live By Night, which is also the name of the movie, and he's you know doing his whole directing, producing, writing, and starring spiel. Oh, okay. In, that, right. ca in that case, I want to watch that because I really like I really love uh, Ben Affleck as a filmmaker. Okay, I got five hundred. Again, watch Suburbia. the town. The town is fucking awesome. But first, let's save a state. Yeah, I just... Well, no, it's not a very imaginative name for a movie, The Town, but, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd be like if you called a Star Trek movie The Ship, or, um... Or, right. um... I could, could, I, could get, I, could, I could get that extra life, but I already have nine lives, which is the maximum you can get anyway, so who cares? Oh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, basically around here in the UK at least the film's come you know, Live by Night is coming out on January thirteenth. Radnor Road. Uh, is that an actual oh, UK road? Rad Radnor Road. No release date for Portugal yet at the moment. I, I, I'm imagining it because this is a, a UK made game. Also, oh, okay. what the, what does the burger do? 
Uh, points. It just gave me points. Okay. Remember, Ted, this was back in the day when gamers still cared about points. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, bicycle! Ah! Ah, run away! Run away! <laughs> ah! Oh, God damn it. Die! Also, also Dweebs, uh, uh, you think that's funny? You know the movie It Follows? Yeah. You uh, know when I've it came... I'm seeing it. Yeah, you know when it came out in the US? Yeah. Yeah, it's coming pretty much nowadays in my country, in theater. Um, what was it called? What was the movie called? It Follows? It, it, it Follows. It was actually recommended by Kojima on Twitter, so I'm uh, planning on checking it out eventually. I've heard, I've heard mixed things about It Follows, actually. I've heard some say it's really good. I've heard others say it's just a pretend, it's just pretentious twaddle. Uh, I don't know. It's an interesting way of making a... Um, uh, a campaign about making safe sex. Oh, that's, that's right. That's right. That's say. right. We have a hedge. That's right. We, uh, we we have hedgehogs as our enemies now. Re and by that I mean real, uh, real uh, shaped hedgehogs, not Sonic-like hedgehogs. You'd think being you, you, you'd, th you'd, th you'd, th you'd think this being a Sega game. Uh, I mean, not not a Sega published game, but like it's only on Sega consoles. You'd think they would um, yeah. ask Sega for like, uh, can we? Make a Sonic cameo in here, but no, it was kind of a wasted uh, opportunity. I, I guess this was the time when Sega didn't uh, remind it about making cameos and was just establishing its franchise. Uh, yeah, it got its first release widely in France last February. Mm -hmm. Wait, then why did Cinema Scenes cover it uh, only a couple of months ago? Because it came out in the US last year, in, also, I think. Yeah, that's what I was talking about the fact that you know, in in US, it came out uh, like a year before. Basically, it, when uh, you're fighting those hunters who are shooting at you for some reason, all right. Uh, I recommend using the bicycle kick. Get uh, near them to the point where instead of shooting uh, forward, they'll just shoot diagonally towards you, but still remain far away so that the the bullets won't hit you. Ow. And then all you have to do is use a bicycle kick that hits the gun, which somehow kills them. Wow, <laughs> I love. I love the divide on it follows on it on the Rotten Tomatoes page. Um, when it comes to the critics, it's got a ninety-seven percent, but with the wow. audience, it got sixty-five. Well, still okay. Yeah, I know, but um, basically, most almost all critics love it, but but some audiences weren't keen on it, and it'll be interesting to find out why that's the case. God damn hedgehogs. Take that, Sonic. Or, uh, not Sonic, I guess. Take that, Sonic's twin brother. Bootleg Sonic. He doesn't even go. look like... Uh, he looks more like an actual hedgehog would look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. But that's okay, because now I'm packing heat. Again. Alright. Too bad now you have to jump on uh, that fence. So. Yeah, I do. Oh. There you There's go. There's something I love about movies. When there's such a big divide between one group and another, whether it's critics or general audiences, it'll be interesting to see what side of the fence I fall on. Especially with stuff like It Follows and The Babadook and The and the Witch. Oh, sorry, The, the Witch. <laughs> Seriously, it's called The Witch and yet they replaced the W with two Vs. Why? There you go, there you go. Here's an example I was talking about. Uh, <laughs> bicycle kick? There you go. Oh. Well, it, it makes sense because it's hitting uh, one of the pixels, so... Whoa! Wow, the divide on the witch. <laughs> Alright guys, and now... Okay. Is there a boss battle? Yes. We're gonna get our first boss yeah. battle. Okay. I'll take quick then. And uh, now here's the boss theme. Oh, sorry. Uh, basically, um, the witch from... We're the fighting! Oh. A sludge tank! What the fuck? Kill <laughs> the tank thing from the first Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, um, the critics gave The Witch overall a 91%, but the audiences gave it 55 Wow. That's interesting. So it can only damage you with uh, the projectiles? Yes. Uh, basically, this boss is really easy if you know what you're doing, like I do. Basically, it can only hit it on the top. So yeah, do bicycle kicks like I'm dead and you'll kill it easily. Alright. It's a really easy boss battle. And there we go. 
Alright, now that was the final suburbia level, so time to move on. Where? To, to the next part. To the moon. See you then. See ya.